Hello, this is Pure Science Education. Today we're going to look at ionic and covalent bonding. In this diagram, you can see a sodium and a chlorine in their element formation. Sodium has 11 electrons with the electronic configuration of 2, 8, 1. Chlorine has 17 electrons with electronic configuration of 2, 8, and 7. Now, in order for sodium and chlorine to get a stable full outer shell configuration, sodium will lose one electron and become a 2 and an 8. Chlorine will gain an electron and become a 2, 8, 8 configuration. Now, because this is a bonding between a metal and a non-metal, it's called ionic bonding. Sodium becomes a Na plus ion. Chlorine becomes a Cl minus ion. So plus represents one electron being lost. Cl one minus represents one electron being gained. If we look at this example of magnesium chloride, magnesium has total of 12 electrons. Electronic configuration of 2, 8 and 2. Chlorine has electronic configuration of 17. Because magnesium needs to lose two electrons, uh, you're going to need two chlorine ele elements to gain an electron each. So when magnesium loses the two electrons from the outer shell, it gains a 2 plus charge and the new electronic configuration is a 2 8. When a chlorine gains one electron, its electronic configuration is 288 and the new shell is 2A and 8. So this um, shows you how um, this has changed into an ion with the 2 plus charge. This has got a Cl minus charge and a Cl minus charge. Looking at covalent bonding, and a covalent bonding is a bonding between two non-metals to get full shell outer configuration. Here, hydrogen has one electron, uh, so it joins with another hydrogen, and they both share an electron each to become H2 and stable. Oxygen has six electrons in the outer configuration. So if you look at the, the red dots and then the blue crosses, and this side, they share in um a pair of electron each so hence the formula for oxygen is o2 because it's sharing two electrons and o oxygen is normally represented as o double bond o um we then have chlorine molecule here with chlorine it has seven electrons in the outer shell 17 in total so they share one electron to get full shell outer configuration and again, chlorine is represented as Cl2. Looking at some more covalent bonding, here I have a water molecule. Hydrogen needs to share one electron to get two in the outer shell, and oxygen needs to share two to get a full shell of outer um, of eight. So hydrogen is one and two. This hydrogen is one and two. And if you count all the oxygens, so one, two, three, four five six seven and eight this side i have nh3 where each hydrogen is sharing one electron each i then have a pair of lone pair of electrons and not shared um and if you look here these here one two three four five six seven eight um this is your octate rule and this is an NH3 molecule. Thank you for listening. If you um, like the video, please subscribe to it and click the like button.